Okay, part two. We're going to assemble all our parts. So, down on the tabs at the bottom, look for the assembly and click that. And uh, first thing we'll do is click insert. And it brings up this menu. So, there's all our parts. So, uh, we need one of each. So, click once on the back. Just zoom backwards and click once to place it. Echo chamber. We're just placing it anywhere for now. Uh, try to keep them separate. It'll make the next um, the next uh, job easier. There's all four of them. And we'll tick. We just need to join them together. Uh, the first piece we put there is the back. We're just going to fix that in place. So it should be the first one in the list. And if you hover over it, you can see it highlights each one. So uh, look for the back piece and then right click and go fix that'll fix that in space it won't jump around on there we need to fix uh, we need to mate we'll be gluing uh, these two bits of timber together and the same thing happens in this project so we're looking for this button that says a fasten mate that's like a glue joint now it's a it can be a little bit confusing, but what we want is uh, uh, probably the easiest way to do this is see how we get this weird looking circle thing. So it matters where we click this circle thing. So the easiest way to do this is click on this back edge here, the furthest short edge, and Notice the orientation that this thing sometimes sits in. Sometimes it sits flat like that, but really we want it to sit. Uh, I don't know how to describe that, but zoom in, look closely at all I'm doing. So if I hover near this edge, generally it goes the right way. So click once. Now, this time, the, this front edge of the back piece. So We've got to get that little circle thing sitting the same way. So we don't want it sitting flat, we want it sitting up on its edge like that. So, and click, it'll bring the two pieces together. Uh, me, For me, it's sitting correctly. If it's not sitting correctly for you, you can try hitting the revolve button or the, uh, the opposite button. If you, you know, to get it sitting in the right place, once it's right, you hit the tick. If it's not right, I would go cancel and try again. Don't try and muck around with it. Uh, so I could either click this tick or this tick. It'll do the same thing. Click. It jumps to another fastened uh, selection. So the phone holder is next. That's this one. So it's identical. I zoom in, I want to be on that edge, so I hover near that back edge, make sure that little uh, icon is kind of sitting on the edge like that. Click that, and it will do this front edge of this one. Basically, what you're doing is making that edge touch that one. Now that's sitting correctly, so I can tick. Now the front piece, so we do the same thing. There it is, and tick. That's in the right place, and tick. There we go, we've assembled our acoustic speaker. We can cancel this one. It wants us to do another fasten, but we don't need to cancel. Now, rotate around, have a look at it. There's our acoustic speaker. You should be able to see how the sound would get from the phone down through that little gap into the echo chamber and out the sound holes. All right, we've assembled it. Let's do a drawing. So look for the plus down the bottom here, plus. And we're looking for create drawing. Click that. OK, we need to change a few of the settings here. So go into the custom template. We click an ISO. Under the size, we'll change that to A4 portrait. 
uh, projection, we change that to third angle. So custom template, ISO, A4 portrait, third angle. Everything else can stay as it is and click OK. Now it's creating a drawing. Ah, so there's our drawing page. It's empty at the moment. We need to add stuff. So select a part or assembly. We don't want a part. We want an assembly. There it is there, the assembly. So click once on it. And there's the view of it. If you're not viewing the front face, this orientation here, change it to something else. You might have to change it to top. Regardless of what it says here, you want it to look like it's viewing the front face. For me, it is the front face. That's too small. We want it bigger. So let's change the scale. And I think if you go zoom, go back to the top and go one to two, it'll pretty much fit on a page. So at the bottom third of the page, just yeah, center it in there, then click to place it. Now, automatically after we place that, our cursor jumped over. Uh, our selection jumped over to this projected view and it will project a view from this initial view. Really, we just want the top down view. So if you move the cursor, you don't have to click anything, just move the cursor up and click. Now, if it doesn't automatically jump across, so I'll just press escape, it's pretty easy. You can click the projected view, click the projected view, then select the front view. Now move your cursor up and create a decent gap between them and click. Uh, we need to deselect this tool because it's going to keep wanting to add more projected views. So click it again or press the escape button. We're just going to make this look a bit better. So uh, click or oh, hover over the top view, right click and we'll go show shaded view and we'll show it shaded. Let's do the same on this one view. We go show shaded view. And the other thing that we're going to do on this front view is we're going to right click and go show hidden lines. And what it'll do, there's the design of our echo chamber. That's a pretty good drawing. It's just missing some dimensions. So we look for the dimension tool up here and click and uh, the length. You can either do it from this bottom edge or the top edge. It doesn't really matter. Just click once, move it up. There it is, 300. We're going to do a little edge there. It'll show us that that timber is 19. We don't need to do the others but we will also do the front one and we get that little pink line to show that this one is in line with the one above. Uh, I'll mark the width of the phone holder. So for this one, we see how it gets that point. Click once on the point, click once on the opposite point, move that down. Is the width of our phone holder. The depth of our phone holder can be taken off this edge, so click once on that edge, place that over there. Uh, the size of the height can be taken off that one, click and click. The placement of the sound holes is pretty important, so click once on the bottom edge, same as before. This time click the edge of the circle move it across, it shows that that's 50 up. Um, edge of the acoustic speaker to the edge of the circle. Make sure you don't hit the edge of that echo chamber, but the edge of the circle. Move that down, that's 60. I don't need to do it on both. If it's not dimensioned over here, you assume it's the same on both sides. That's the same width the diameter of these holes. So click once on the circle and move that. That's 54. 
uh, we don't need to dimension this one, it's the same. And there's our drawing, so uh, let's just deselect that tool, we're done. Oh, we can add your name to it here. Uh, I think if we double click in there, uh, where do we type? Ah, oh, it's already flashing, it's ready to type. So type your name. Oh, it's got some extra dashes and stuff there, we'll get rid of those. And click the tip. Oh, actually just name the job that we're doing as well. I might just delete that one. But let's double click that bottom one. We'll call it acoustic speed. Delete that extra text that's there and the tick. There we go. That will do. We can print that and we get a professional looking uh, drawing. Thank you.